<laughs> Hi, Steakers. Welcome to No Man This Life, your new year. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to become a member, link's in the description. Oh. We're up like 130 subs. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being a part of my shenanigans. Now, look. I put a new shirt in the store. I've been inspired. I got another one going in, too. But I got to work on that one a little bit more. A little bit more. What do we not have chat? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Scared me for a minute. Hello, 10-4. Hello, Shireen. The beautiful Shireen. More or less or other. Shelly Ray. Deb. Okay, I'll show you the shirt. I love it. Look at it. Now, it's really cute because this is sequin. They're like fake sequins. Wait till we get up close. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? I love it. It's bold. It's bold. I have pink. Right? Hold on. Got to bring this down a little more. I got gray. I got white. I love it. Do you not love it? I love this shirt. Um, it's a unisex. It's really soft. It's the same one. It's the Bella Canvas 3001. It's just, it's the same one that I put the Say Less bubblegum one. Anyway, um, that one, I washed it and it came out absolutely beautiful. So I'm going with this shirt um, again. I love this. I'm going to get mine in white for summer. I'm thinking about putting it on um, a sweatshirt too. There's a link to that Etsy store. I just put it in the store today. And I'm working on another one that you guys, it's a new Gen X. You guys will love it. And it's really cool. So my hubby, while everybody's getting in here, doing their thumbs up, right? While the community is gathering in the assembly hall. Look at I got hair everywhere. My husband, Dre, let me tell you something about my man. I can't get this man to go to the grocery store with me, right? I can't. I just can't. Oh, I'm just so tired. I'm like, okay, Chantal. <laughs> I'll go tackle this alone. Anyway, so today's like, do you want to go to Harbor Freight with me? And I'm like, for what? <laughs> what part about that even sounded exciting for me? Harbor Freight. Ugh. So uh, he's like, because I, I go, what do you have to get? He goes, I have to get this, uh, a plug that plugs into the back of Max, tells me if the trailer, like if I hook up a camper or a trailer to it, that the brake lights will work. And I said, well, it's Max. Of course it's going to work. Well, I need to know. I said, but what if the item you're going to pick up, brake lights don't work? Well, I need to know. I need to know if Max, you know, if that, if that plug is good. I said, well, enjoy. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> so he's sitting there for a long time. And I'm like, you're not even picking this thing up that we're buying until the next weekend. You're, you're not even picking it up till the next weekend. It's a three-hour drive, which he asked me to go on. I go, <laughs> he goes, well, we're taking Max. I go, I love Max, but not enough to three hours, three hours back, six hours in one day. No, I'm good. I can't even get you to go, go to the grocery store with me. See where this would have worked out for you if every time I went to the store, you'd be like, you know what? I'm going to come with you and help you out. And I'd be like, all right. Now, have fun with that trip. Then he's sitting there lollygagging. Because I'm like, you don't have to do it today. But I want to. I want to I wanna check that out. I said, okay, well, then go. Bye. So I'm sitting there. I'm playing my game. He goes, uh, are you hungry? And I said, <laughs> I started feeling like foodie beauty for a moment. I'm like, yeah, I could eat. He goes, well, what if I take you to Panera Bread? I go, I'm the one with the gift card. 
I'm the one with the gift card. What do you mean, what if you take me? <laughs> then I'm like, man, you got me. You got me because I want my broccoli cheddar soup. So we load it up. He goes, are we eating first? And I said, you bet your ass. Now you got, I got Panera Brain on the head, Panera Bread Brain, and you aren't dragging me to Harbor Freight first. Because then I'm going to be just, huh, right? So we go to the Panera. Panera has new items on the menu. <gasps> and usually I get a salad with my soup. And I'm like, not today. There is a new sandwich called the Chicken Rancher. There's like five or six new things on the menu. The Chicken Rancher. So they take this amazing, like a chiata, like or ciabatta, like a ch ciabatta, but it's like a it's like a sub bun, and I only got the half sandwich, so it's like in a sub form, but it's like a, a, some sort of ciabatta, and they 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 gr they grill it, and then they chop up the chicken with bacon and whatever onions, whatever. And then they mix it lightly in some ranch dressing. So they make kind of like a chicken salad out of it. But it's not shredded chicken. It's cut chicken. Grilled cut chicken. They put it on there. And I'm telling you right now. Chef's kiss. I said this is the best half sandwich I've ever eaten in my life. It was so good. It was like the perfect blend of flavor. And then that crispy but soft ciabatta sub bun that they grilled. Stop yourself. I'm gonna make that at home. I'm gonna work that out. Anyway, so now that everybody's in here, thumbs up. Should we get to the poor me? Poor me! All my life's decisions. I heard she created an Amazon wish list. Grifton ass. <coughs> Grifton ass. So is this what the poor me streams about? She wanted super chats. Better than the grilled apple cheese. What's that? Oh, the grilled cheese with the apple slices and the apricot spread and the turkey bacon. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's its own thing somewhere else, four hours away. And trust me, when I go there again, which I think I'm planning a trip soon, um, I will film that. I will film that sandwich because I'll go get one. Anyway, so you're ready for the poor me. Keep in mind, these are all her choices. This one might not be. <laughs> this being in Canada thing, it may not be. It may not be. But we're going to try to figure that out through the love language of lies, right? Because the truth is, Foodie likes to lay it all out and tell you the truth because that makes her work through it better. But the fact that she's bubbled herself in a bullshit story and a bullshit content, right? It's eating at her because she can't fully get people's support if they don't know what's going on. <laughs> I love that part. Anyway, let's do this. We're going to do some lights. Ooh, camera. Oh my, what you got, sore tooth? You got some food stuck up in there? Now, this, what are you wearing now? Oh my God, is there a collection of these shirts? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> a V-neck, huh? With pleats, with pleats on the titties. Stop. She's, she tries to be manipulative, but she's too stupid. <laughs> Listen, in order to be in order to be conniving, you got to be smart, not stupid. This is gold. The lack of intelligence is gold. That's what makes this more fun than anything I've ever watched. She's so, oh my 
God. Dude, she... I, I can't even get past the glasses. I mean, this... It just never ends. I mean... It just never ends. Yeah, but man, do we love it. I mean, you are literally only qualified for YouTube. That's it. She is only, and, now, and that's really pushing it. The fact that she's even qualified for YouTube. Foodie, can we be real? You will never see the money that you made during the Nader arc. Never, ever will you ever. In fact, at this point, Naked and Laughing is killing it. You will never. The, the longer you sit behind the lies and you're not able to spill the truth is what makes your content suck. Because you used to tell us the truth. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Sorry, he's lies. I guess it's this one. I'm such an idiot. Gosh. Now, she has done, what, four lives already since she's been home? What's she going to do when YouTube's done? Oh, my gosh. I wish we could be a fly on the wall for that shit. But none of us will be able to see it. Oh, she'll be somewhere else. Trust that. My God. My God. Well, I don't know if people will. Well, at least this doesn't have elastic sleeves. It's the other one or not. But. Yeah, she says she has money and she can she can fund two places to live, but she's e-bagging. <laughs> she must have spout out her PayPal like four times. <laughs> this is what I love. I love watching somebody who used to be so freaking such an asshole when she had money. She just was above everybody. Oh, the FFG, do you live in a Motel 6? FFG is slaying it while she's in her car giving out her PayPal and making an Amazon wish list because <laughs> she threw everything away. You know what? You crack me the hell up. Oh. Hey, Brenda. Yeah, she don't have a good support system over there that's going to feel sorry for her because they're all feeling sorry for themselves. They're not going to give it to you like that. <laughs> now, all the ones that you cussed out and blocked, they probably would have furnished the whole new apartment. <laughs> Karma. Oh, that silly karma. Oh, I know. I can't believe this shirt is killing me. It's just you and me here. Jenna, Kennedy, Lulu. Oh, what? A thousand people aren't rolling in. Sam Bosa misses me. Justine. Brenda, maybe. Hi, Marbles. Love the sound of rain. Stephanie. Well, can you imagine trying to hide... Like wanting PayPal's because you got to hide all the edibles you're buying. And we already know her edible, let's just say, uh, what was the word she used to? S satiation. <laughs> Costs about, I don't even remember, $300 a week. Oh my God. She's trying to get the money through PayPal. So Salah doesn't see how much she's... Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, you are a revving shanty now. Green grapes, enchanted charcoals, cherry pie, Annie, Donna Gem, Shippy. Hey, the audio is better. Masa Hafe means good evening. Golden Girls. Yeah, it was like 75 or 80 bucks a day. Yeah, like 400 a week. <laughs> yeah, let's pay attention because she gets more breathy and it seems like she may have taken her own version of an, uh, a Xanax, and we'll just call it a gummy. Yep, while she's driving in the snow. Good, good, good. Oh, hi, in Arabic. Lisa P., Caroline, hi, Tracy. Okay, hey, moving I on. I didn't have to put anything in rice. I don't know what happened. Oh, her last five was all, her audio was all crackly. 
Yeah, it's your stupid phone. Could you turn it off, reset the audio? No. Hey, Beezers. Yes, Happens to all of us. Eh. Lady Lugosi, hello. I'm sure she's sending him money. <laughs> I'm sure she is. No, we're not iftar peasy. Gemma, hello. The weather's crappy. It seems like she's having a bit of an issue with this tooth. It has moved. Is it loose? I have never seen her have a Katherine Heigl, uh, um, you know what I mean, canine before. It's never been that prominent. Us too. Hey, creepy. Tangerine. Yeah, the solar eclipse, I am able to. Hi, Ghostface. Pam in. But will you go watch the solar eclipse? Person, I might buy some eclipse glasses. Yes. I've never seen a solar eclipse. The snow is beautiful. <laughs> she, re she replaced the tooth with a tic tac. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cynthia, Reginald, doll. Tried to eat the couch there, Mary. Well, not really anything fun today. Well, I talked to you guys. That's always fun. You can see my hair. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. Because even with my glasses, I can't see. Sorry about that. Mishaps happen. <sighs> Rather the cold than the heat in Kuwait. Yeah, I know what you mean. Brooke, I'm sorry, but no. I can't right now. That's the problem. Can't what? You missed the coffee bees? Well, how another coffee right now? You saw the last eclipse? Uh, her face is red because she has rosacea. Probably poor hygiene or I don't know. You never know with this one. Yeah, okay. No, Jenna, I'm married. You're not married just because you got a napkin holder on your freaking hand. You're not married. <laughs> Who in their fucking right mind would just choose to leave their husband? That is so stupid. This is like the dumbest freaking fake story I've ever heard in my life. I'm married. No, you're not. Why wear glasses? Because I need them. Did you guys see at the beginning of her travel vlog, she said, okay, hold on, let's go get it. Cause I'm like, what in the frick are you talking about? Oh God, she changed her profile picture again. And she thinks she's something, don't she? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> She's even covering the big cheek. Stop it. Would you just lose the weight and stop the nonsense? Okay, the beginning of this. She does look insane. She looks like one of those, um, uh, like uh, the, the ones that you, you go to. What's the name of those? It's a gypsy, and she looks into her crystal ball. <laughs> Hello, Hello booty bitties. <laughs> hey there, Beezers. No. Want a person? No. No. It's no. Cameo. No. Hey. No. Nothing to do with my travel journey vlog, but I no. Think, oh, this was supposed no. to be navy blue one. No. Again, it's time. Blender cups and a hijab. Okay. And fit for the airport. Uh, <laughs> So that's what the glasses look like with filters. <laughs> they actually look like they fit. <laughs> um, have my backpack on, my new glasses that my husband bought for me today. Stop right there. My new glasses that my husband bought for me today. He picked those out? He picked those out? She didn't say she went with them and she picked them out. She didn't say, my new glasses I got today. 
she said her husband, they're from a pharmacy. Absolutely. This ain't prescription. Why is that picture sitting on her couch? Her and the tranquilized tiger that if it would have been awake would have literally just snatched all the ass off of her. They're readers from a drugstore. Because, listen, Salah, if you went and got those by yourself and you put those on your big Frankenstein head, that would explain why they don't fit her. There's no way she would have went in and picked out glasses that aren't more rectangle. Even a smaller cat eye that wouldn't have tried to make it past her cheeks. And no way. No way. He should have went and got one of them bouncy balls and put the glasses on it. This is it got awful. I think they're moving out. Why is that picture sitting on the it's moving out time. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they're definitely blue light. You can see. They're definitely reader blue lights. Mm-hmm. They're from the... You need a men's frame, right? I need a glasses, new glasses for a while. So, hi, Mike. The teen... Why are you guys asking me questions? No. Hi, Louise. Um, yeah, I did go. And uh, and what? To the apartment, yeah. Yeah? So? Move the fuck in? What's your problem? What's for dinner? Nothing. They're not even on her ears, have a sue, Mom. They're... <laughs> Ah, her ears are down here. Ah, <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if she's living in her car. There, there could be contention at her mom's house. <laughs> like, when are you moving out from the stepdad? Because you know how much attention she needs. I'm very tired. From what? You did three live streams in your car. You're tired from going through the drive-thru? Oh, did you just go through a drive-thru? Did you eat shit you're not supposed to and you didn't want to film it? Now your sugar's through the roof? Yeah, that would make sense. Or did you gu are you gummied up? For some reason, your eyelids look huge. <laughs> she doesn't even have ears. I don't use Roman for your moving truck needs. Roman's in the hospital. Idiots. You idiots. <laughs> That's right. He had a moving like truck or something, eh? I remember. He's in the hospital. Well. Am I sad? I don't know. Where you're gonna be soon. And you'll want everybody to feel bad for you. You wouldn't want anybody to laugh at you. Like a mix of emotions. Maybe I just want to talk about. Oh, could you start with the truth? Like, no. I feel like, without getting too personal, you know, but. In other words, without telling the truth. If I could describe the level of conflict that I feel inside myself. AMC, happy belated birthday. Thank you, AMC. He was in a really bad accident. A really bad accident. Roman was. You have a troll. What else is new? <laughs> Who, who's the troll? Oh, you. Oh, Range Rover's back. You're an idiot. Ha <laughs> ha. Takes one to know one. Na 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 boo boo. Na 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 boo boo. Yeah, that's nice of you. You are some dumb that you can't even mirror the screen. You are some dumb. I'm some dumb. You are dumb dumb want gum gum. Thank you. Cute cat, Daniel. It's massa Oh, sorry. 
I'll have to um, edit it after. Let me tell you something, Range Rover. The only reason I don't go back to stream yards and do the whole blue screen and get the scrolling is because my people like me to keep it real. We just hanging out. We're watching her bullshit the way we like to. I'm not trying to pretend that this is a big show. That's stupid. Are you aware of any court cases? No. Against me? Hi, Mike. Yeah, it is. Buy a new car. No, I just, it's, I don't know. Like, I'm staying here. Don't worry about it. But I'm, I'm very, sometimes, not always, sometimes I get sad. Okay. So let's talk about this. Um, as our community, not her, because she'll never tell you the truth. Why do you think she is sitting in Canada? Is she there because Salah said, I can't take anymore. You need to go get yourself healthy because I'm going to travel with or without you. And he basically made her go. Kicked her to Canada to get her shit together. She's driving him crazy. Or do you think she went over to Germany so she could bees, right? While she waited for a visa to be approved. Because remember, she went, she went dark on her channel a little bit, dropped a couple videos, but then she got that seven-day ban. So she had plenty of time. And then her visa got denied in Germany. And she had to grab a flight to Canada. And the only thing available was Air Canada. Hmm. It's one or the other. Um. I personally think her visa's been denied. She may have a six-month wait. She may have a year wait. Hey, Carol, let me window. Don't start that juvenile shit. I'm going to have to figure out, like... Well, she wants you to think she's married. And the only way to be married in Kuwait is to be a resident. Legal married. Not loophole married. But legally, to be married in Kuwait... You have to have a residency. She can't get a residency there. Her health alone won't even allow it. You can't have a disease like diabetes, uh, anything like that, liver, high blood pressure, none of that. So we know she's not really married and she's on visitor visas. We know that. She can say whatever she wants. Yeah, and I heard Kuwait has been kicking a lot of people out. So that would be my guess. She went over to Germany Border hopped, which, you know, they have THC over there. You can hang, right? I know she does the Nikocado avocado wine. She, I don't even know why. Whatever. But I, I'm just thinking then she found out it was denied and she had to go home for a long time. How to make my life productive and fulfilling here. You didn't even make it productive and fulfilling in Kuwait. You didn't make it productive and fulfilling any time in the last seven years. Yes, Tiggs wants a carrot. The grassy. She ain't on a work visa. Tell us what you did for your birthday. Um, I'm sure you can guess what I had to eat. We went out for dinner and uh, just watch movies. Hi, P Mac. You know why she's not on a work visa? You want to know why she's not on a work visa? Because she would have to be approved. She would have to, like, let's say she got approved for a work visa. That means you're going to get a residency. And in order to be a resident there, you have to be um, free from certain health conditions. She's not. She has the diabetes. She's been, look at her. You think she would qualify for a residency there? They don't want a burden to their health care. She's, that's why she has to go home, to be a burden to Canada. Well, it's not better than the villa. And there would be no reason to ever leave. Physically, she cannot do these trips. We know this. She would never have to leave. She would be able to stay there. They would have a legal marriage. Mm-hmm. Passenger princess. Yeah, I do, actually. I do. Thank you, Jennifer. I thought it was cute, too. It's just really hard being in a long-distance relationship. 
Well, if he's your husband and you're married, why'd you leave? Why are you having a long distance relationship that we're supposed to feel sorry for you? <laughs> Please. Like really bad. And you know. It's not a facade. What makes you say that? Because it's a facade. Like seriously, like I don't understand. Like seriously, it's a facade. Grounds. It's real. I miss my family over there. Of course I do. I spent like a, a year and a They're half. They're not saying you missing Salah and you laying around in that apartment and you may not be called to a court case or you may not be tempted to go see Nader. We're not saying that shit is a facade. This situation. A half getting used to that. So. But at the same time, I recognize like. I need to be here right now. So. So if you're there and you went there to get healthy and he told you, go there, get some mental health help, get your body in shape, do what you need to do, get weight loss surgery, whatever it is. The guy's 10 years younger than you. He wants to go to Mecca. He wants to travel to other countries. And you lay around, my sciatic, I can't get out of bed, I can't breathe, it's too hot here, I can't go anywhere. Yeah, that's what he's attracted to. So if you're supposed to be doing that in Canada, why are you still running through the drive throughs What can I do? Um, start getting serious. Oh, do you have a bad again? Britt, I don't know. Yes, and to get a work visa, you have to have a career. When you are an expat. When you're an expat, you have to have a career. You have to be uh, a teacher, a medical, military contract. They just don't let somebody in and sign them up to sell couch spray. Oh, my God. Hi, Melissa. You I put the lights. labels on. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Mexican pizza. Thanks, Katie W. Audio is fine. Okay, so now you trolls can stop saying it's bad audio, okay? I'm just joking. I can't breathe. My anxiety is always bad. Inner conflict with yourself. You can run, but there you still are. I don't know what it is. There's a certain level of like, um, like things you don't have to worry about over there, you know? Like nadder, nadder. <laughs> she may, she may have some guilt. She may have contacted nadder. She may be dealing with some inner conflict, which causes anxiety. You know? Anyway. Hi, Isla. Yeah, she can get her health care back, though. That's the thing about being a Canadian citizen. You don't lose your citizenship. You just got to reapply for your medical, which I think she did the last time she was there. So she ain't been gone long enough this year to lose it. So she's probably got her medical. It's just hard to get a doctor under those social health care. Or is it Isla? I don't miss the snow. Yeah, see, it's her nature to spill the beans, and she can't. Do you think she will take Sam back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Even if she left him again, she will do it. That Because it's all about her. It isn't about Sam being happy somewhere. It's about her. Oh, this will make it all better. If I can hold Sam again, I'll feel all better. Okay. And then... She'll get all panicky and get approved to go back to Kuwait and run back there because now she's obsessed with Salah and she's like pissed in every corner of that apartment. So she don't want any other woman in Salah's life. It's going to be a bumpy ride this year, people. Hi, this guy just went in his car, rolled up all the way, like his windows are rolled up and he's like, he like, he lit a dart. Yeah, you took a gummy. So what's, what's the diff? We can tell with your heavy breathing that is going to increase. And then when you get to the point where you know you're like yeeting or you're greening out, you'll end the live. 
Yes, we're gonna bees. Always smile. What is beezing? What are we gonna do? What is it? You're you're not twenty anymore. How about you go walking? How about you go on a health arc? Bees. God, this is so dumb. The bees. Hi, Nosferatu's. How old is Sam, anyways? Well, oh, if you yeah. if you would have yeah, took him to the vet, you would have known. Never leave here without Sam. Poor Sam. So you'll never leave there without Sam. We already did. So now you're going to take him back and what? Put him in a crate and drag him to Kuwait and hope to God that him and Julia get along? Oh, that'll be great. I wonder if he'll remember me. If he does, he'll bite you. Your <laughs> tattoo's showing. Are you music off your current sadness? Yeah, I guess. Look, silly and diva. I, had I think your hair is showing too. Oh no. To pop in to show some love. I pray your day is well. I'm loving the glasses, girl. I hope all is well with you, lovely chatters as well. I'm about to eat and watch some gaming. Enjoy, Black Silly, and thanks for coming in here and saying hey. <laughs> My day's okay. Off and on, you know. I'm tired. Which gaming do you watch? Yeah, it'll cost like four grand to get Sam to Kuwait, and you'll have to be vaccinated for the first time in his life. Oh, hopefully, whoever's taking care of him vaccinated him. But if I was a guessing woman, Sam's with a family member. She's already seen Sam. Guaranteed. Sam can come with me anytime, you know? Well, then why didn't he come with you the first time? Why'd you give him away? Sam's been fixed and vaccinated. Who knows? Um, that I get a place. Do they make the, um, if you bring an animal to Kuwait, do they make them stay in quarantine for 10 days? I mean, I know you got to have all your papers with you and pay an astronomical fee, but... Um, do they make them quarantine for 10 days? Because some countries do that. Bam's Beezer! Oh my gosh, hey! Jaxie Boo. What's new? Come here, you little rat. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> 10 years, Lisa? <laughs> Off of the Nintendo. Sam will go crazy, you think so? I don't have a winter coat. Hard seeing pictures of like Salah and Oh they do. Okay, so Range Range Rover said that they do um, make them quarantine. She don't look into anything, so I'm like nothing shocks me. Julia and Howie. Boy, your respirations sure are getting labored. They've slown way down. <laughs> But it's also hard without, you know, things here. So I don't know what to do. So let me get this straight. You're not happy in Canada. I mean, your mom's married. Your sister's got her own life. You have no friends but Pete's. What do you miss about Canada now that you've created a life over in Kuwait with a husband and animals, your own place, and supposedly you go do things with his family. <coughs> Bullshit. Um, what? You were, f you, you know what? Stop. Yeah, I'm home. Yeah. No cat will forget my voice. Just stop. Will you show us Sam when you get him back? Duh. Hi, Teardrop. I don't think she has a blood clot. She's on blood thinners. And uh, she was wearing compression socks all the way up to her navel. You know what I'm saying? Okay, have a good night, uh, Black Cillian. Hey, Ted. Yeah, she does look like Amy Ramadan now, don't she? Woof. Oh, absolutely. She looks like she has taken a gummy. Absolutely. See, the huh. one thing about Foodie, and you always know when she's uh, taken some milligrams, right? The, her eyelids get really puffy like hamburger buns. It is the telltale sign every time with her. Well, running catnip. Yeah, I have to focus. I really, yeah, you're right. You hear her breathing? That she does that when she's high too. I gave it away, plus. I'm not. Does it look like Thailand? 
Hi, Billy Brooke. You need cat stuff now. Yeah. Listen, she could literally be like turned around right by her wherever she's staying. So it doesn't mean she was driving down highways and shit. She could be sitting like right where walking distance. We don't know. I need a 4XL cat litter box. <laughs> Sorry, my teeth are going to be all curly and brown. Just Sam, why do you need a plus size litter box? Why? Sam. God. This is arrested development. Oh my God. She's definitely like that brother from arrested development. I better calm down. I'm probably on surveillance. They probably think I'm weird. Your heart wants Kuwait. Yeah, it does right now. Because it's just been, I just ripped myself away from there. And you know, I do all this to myself, all this impulsive sh This is what being impulsive gets you. No, I don't believe so. I don't believe this was an impulsive move. I think this was a forced. And that's why you're upset because you don't trust the law. Nobody trusts the law. <laughs> Hell, the law don't even trust the law. No, you were forced and you're upset because you don't know what he's doing. And um, you're worried. You're worried, of course. And you're forced to stay in Canada. The end. I'm, I'm serious. This is what impulsive gets you. No, you didn't do this impulsively. Trust me, you would not have traveled if you didn't have to. Like, I created a whole other life, but don't regret it. How do you know they didn't put her back on blood thinners? Salah's currently balls deep. <laughs> right, Lauren? <laughs> yeah, there was some controversy about where her car was. Okay, we'll go back to that stream. Hold on. So, da-da-da-da-da. She's out there eating a gas station sandwich, right? Non-halal, of course. I'm like, right near a bunch of bus stops. So, well, the bread is so fresh, it's like moist. Now, you see her eyelids here? That's her normal eyelids. Her eyelids there are puffy all around her eyes. Now she may have been crying. <laughs> I'm sure living with your stepdad would make you cry. Oh my God. Did you guys see Salah defending her eating habits in the chat? She was saying she eats like any normal human that she doesn't even finish. Shut up, Salah. You need that money. You need her YouTube money. You are pathetic and disgusting, by the way. You're not a real man, Salah. Not if you could say all those things to another woman while professing your love to Chantal. You, you know what? Don't talk. Say less, Sal Salah. Bismillah. Gross. I would rather eat the leaves off the trees than one of them freaking sandwiches in a package. She could be living with Funkle or Uncle Phyllis. We could put more mayo or something. Anyway. Yeah, that bread's not moist. It's literally humidity wet <laughs> from being a refrigerator in plastic. I'm taking this express bus from um, Montreal Airport to yeah. go get my car. So from Montreal, Montreal Airport, now listen to this. From the Montreal airport, she's taking an express bus to go get her car. So a party you would be thinking, oh, you literally parked your car in airport parking and you're taking an express bus bus to the parking lot where it's at, which would have cost you what, $20 a day for the last almost three months? So that's what you're thinking, right? That's what I was thinking, but then, she changes the story. Yeah, and Cornwall is like over an hour because it's in between where the luxury villa is and Montreal. And we know it was like two hours. So Cornwall, I believe, is like an hour 
from Montreal, right? And, um, the guy who was sitting beside me on the plane? Who cares? Get over it. It wasn't trauma. He kept spilling wine? Oh, no! Did you tell him about himself? I'm sure he was spilling it on you because you were sitting on his lap part way over the seat. You and I, if that would have been you and I, we would have been on an episode of Cops when we got off that plane. The lies Uncle Phil fixed the car, drive around, right? Two grand my ass. Uh, we can also see if on her channel, we're going to check that in just a sec. All over me. I'm so annoyed. Cornwall's what? An hour and a half apart. Okay. I was so over. I'm so over people. I'm so over. Yeah, he's so over. You sitting on top of him in his page seat. Probably. I don't want to just complain because, you know, alhamdulillah, I've made it. The amount of walking I did, so my feet are, like, so sore. That's a you problem? Because I can walk through the Mall of America. Right? I can walk through the Mall of America. So guess what? Here's why. It's because of your weight. The sketchers are not cutting it. The sketchers aren't meant to do that kind of a hard labor. I need better sketchers. You need to lose about 200 pounds. I'm freezing, waiting for my bus. Now she's waiting for her bus. Yes, yeah, Sammy. We're going to see if we can find that. Chicken sandwich on my teeth. <laughs> I look so old. I am 40 now. This is strange. I ordered my taxi to go. Taxi? I ordered my taxi to go where? Get my car. What is it? The express bus to go get your car? Now it's a taxi? Did you park it at Nader and Dee Dee's? I have so many questions. You're going to pay a taxi. How much money? Your family wouldn't even come get you? Oh, my God. Jeez, oh, they're so thrilled you're home, cutie. I don't know where I am. The bus dropped me off somewhere. So you called the cab to somewhere you don't even know where you're at. We think you're in Lachine. We think you're in Lachine, right by Nader and Dee Dee's. That's what we think. And did you leave your car at Dee Dee's? I'm going to guess. Because you and Sly are not married. You're friends. Mm -hmm. Now let's go look real quick. Um, let's go to videos. And let's go down to, that was one month ago, one month, two months. Okay, she was still there, she was still there. Did she get rid of, all? I love all these, losing 200 pounds, losing 200 pounds. It never happened. Canada vlog. Okay, so she got to Canada, Canada, the ER, Canada, I gotta find it. Getting my own place, too fat to fly. Oh, we just found the, the, look, there it is. Ah, that she changed her profile pic to. <laughs> anyway, get back on track. I will, I will. 24 hour journey home. All right, now, where was she sitting in the Ikea? Hold on, I think it might be this one. Taking care of, I'm worried about. Let me see, blah, 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 blah. Legs around. Blah, 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 blah. Where was she said she got the video. IKEA fixed and she was sitting in the IKEA dealership. Hold on. 
And that was her last trip home. So she's just begging for money. What's it? In this one. Blah, blah. You can see that big smile on. Okay, this Pause one. Pause and look at every crumb and stain in this car, but do yourself a favor and just pass on it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, where was she in the Ikea dealership? Oh, it must have been... My car! Ugh, that thing is so gross. It must have been in... I'm thinking maybe the next one? Hold on, we'll find it. That's when she just come up with subjects in her car. Okay, not that one. She did a vlog where she was getting her car fixed, and we will find it, ma'am. Trying to get weight loss surgery in Canada. God, <laughs> you are just like Amberlynn. Look at, she had her fake eyelashes on in Canada. Look at the filters. Good God. <laughs> All right, not that one. She just sat in her car and talked again. Anybody remember which one it was? Um, misinformation. Oh, this one she bought herself a journal. God. I really miss you. Blah, blah. She was still plugging the unicity. Gee, you've tried it all, haven't you? <laughs> there is no days like the Nader days. Duda, you're a Duda. Maybe it was when she went and ate all that food and ended up in the <laughs> ER. <laughs> Look at the buffet. You know, she clicks it off and then she ends up in the ER. You just can't with this one. All right, she drove us around Cornwall. When did she get that damn car fixed? Did she take that video out? She must have. Because it was the day after she got home. Going on and on about fixing that damn car. Do you think she still loves Nader? Absolutely. Absolutely. Read it. I really miss it. <laughs> Knock that shit off. You're grown. But maybe I can, like, set up base here and over there and, you know, still live my life, but... Okay, so make this make sense. You're going to have an apartment in Canada, so every time you have a tantrum or need to renew your visa, you're going to fly and spend 20 hours traveling just to... And you're married... You make no sense. You are absolutely, in my opinion, insane. Oh. Hey, honey, I'm going to go get me an apartment in another country. I'll see you when I see you. You're supposed to build a life together when you're married. Hey, me. My life, yeah. Doesn't feel like my own sometimes. It's yeah. not, because he's filtering money out of your account. You don't even have money anymore. You literally really did it this time, didn't you? You really did it this time. Now you got a guy you're telling the world you're married to, and so he's just taking your money. Hey, don't forget about me and Julia. He's taking pictures with a cat. So just so you remember that you got a payment and to him and you got an apartment you got to pay for. He's probably holding the cat hostage. Yeah, and those fancy fans, peace are. Well, forever be the rest of peace. <laughs> Welcome back, fans, peace are. Good to have you back. <laughs> Girl, you are high. What in the hell is wrong? Look, see how swollen they are? That's what happens every time she does THC. Like, like God's like, see? <laughs> I mean, it even makes it obvious. That's nuts. 
I'm just warning you later, that's all. Oh, good. Sugar. Yay. <sighs> yeah, she was trying to explain her anxiety. And now you see her labored breathing every time she takes gummies. It's her Xanax. I would never take an edible. <laughs> no, thank you. Because, like, listen. Listen, one time. I took a, a, a piece of a medical one because, you know, one of my family members has MS. And she's like, hey, have you never had a bite of an edible? And I'm like, no. I haven't even smoked dope since I was, like, 17. And she's like, oh, my God. It just relaxes you. Um, Coming from people who, like, take it on the regular, yeah, it probably does. Anyway, so I took a little bite. Listen, I turned into a ball of mush, like... My arms, everything just turned to mush. And like, I was just staring at her and I just seen her jaws like click clacking. I didn't even understand a word she was saying. But, you know, she's just used to them. I wasn't. And that was like two years ago. And I was like, yeah, I'll never do that again. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> people, don't let people make you do shit. Yeah, they're not fun. I mean, I did sleep. I mean, I slept good. I'll give you that. I slept good. I feel like... I know. I don't want to be in... Look at my... I want to just free the chin. There we go. I but, but I know people that have taken them and they weren't regulated right because they were out of, um like, the dispensaries instead of a medical like where you have to have a medical card. So I I know people have gotten tremors from them. <laughs> what? I don't want to be in the hottest country in the summer. This is not working out. And take it off. Do you know how many months we've stared at you plucking at that damn Spanx around your face? It is so annoying. Thanks, Ben Cody. They gave you vertigo, made you like really dizzy. That's not cool, man. That stuff, like once you chew it up and swallow it, you're on your own. I don't like that. I don't like even feeling like out of sorts. I hate that. Hey, Chantel, hey, Chantel, how are you? How are you, C-Mills? Shut up, Lily Tracy. That's true. The edible people, they're like the real MVPs because they're I, I couldn't hang with them either. He's coming for blood. What is this live? A really big life crisis. So let me get this straight. Yesterday, you went live. I'm home for good. La 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 la. Laughing, happy, singing. And now I'm in a life crisis. You are an emotional vampire. You use your audience. You're, there's, go see a therapist. My God, you could get one online in a half a minute. She just makes your head swim, does she not? Cookie oat latte. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good, eh? You'd rather have a couple glasses of wine over any weed? Yeah, but I'm allergic to wine. I'm allergic to wine and I really don't like, I don't really like to try anything. But everybody talks about how great edibles are for anxiety and they relax you. It did relax me. My muscles went to mush, like mush. Like I just had a full body massage, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not interested in ever doing them again. Hey, jobs are warm up. Just a Wait a minute, what? My late, my late boyfriend's neurologist said to get some edibles. It might help. We, try, we tried a half of one. He just about forgot that he had Parkinson's disease. It was scary. We never did it again. Yeah, that's the thing. But I heard you're only supposed to take a tenth of one. It, it depends. Like if it's 100 milligrams, you're only supposed to take a tenth. This one has taken 1,000 milligrams all at once. That's insane. Jessica, no, I miss, miss my husband and my pets. Oh, please. You miss 
keeping an eye on him. And let me tell you what, he ain't sitting around petting the cat waiting for you to show up. Well, he might be petting a cat, but it ain't Julia. That's probably about it, isn't it? Woof, woof. Meow, meow. <laughs> it's like little things, but... Anyway. So what did you do that you're feeling guilty about? Go on. You. That's the problem. What did you do that you are feeling guilty about. Oh, has Chantal been a bad girl? I'll bet she has. I'll, um, I'll be all right. Look, my live streams can't be very eventful until I just establish a life here. I just need it. And they still won't be eventful. The nothing on this channel is eventful. Everyone to be patient, please. Oh yeah, did you know, Allah said um, that Red Room girl is still around. If you know what he means. He didn't say she still lives here. He said she's still around. You think so, little brown dog? Not sure did get a grocery haul on the day she said she arrived. And where did you take that express bus to my car? Um, I'm waiting for my cab to my car. Where was your car? Not her and Didi's? Huh? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> Do a loose scrapbook. These are you weren't built for 140 degree heat. <laughs> I didn't even care about that. I was like, no way, man. I'm going. What? That's the kind of shit she says when she's high. That's the kind of shit she says when she's high. <sighs> And that's how she breathes when she's high. Do you think it's appropriate to constantly film yourself? I don't know. I don't know. God, you go live. When you're in Canada, you go live every time you have a mental moment. Get, get your shit together. Be a grown-up. God. Yeah, Dee Dee doesn't drive, so they would have a parking space. Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe I shouldn't, but... Yeah, she she's not lying. She's in a crisis. Uh-huh. And she's just not telling us what she's up to. People do long distance. It's not that unusual. Yeah, but... oh, You think so? Java 420! Look at that word! Beast, beast, beast. Ow! And why would you... Why would you have a long-distance relationship with your own husband? That is so full of BS. That is so dumb. I mean, what the fuck? So dumb. No. <laughs> Knock that off. Or we're all done with you. For the whininess. We're here for you. We'll always be here to be. Thanks, Ted. He's Look at her eyes. <laughs> Look at Cheech here. <laughs> Look at Cheech. In her in her drugstore blue blocker glass. <laughs> I'm dead too. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? Now, can we look at that tooth real quick? What's going on with it? You know what I mean? That tooth looks like it's moved. It's definitely, like, tilted. Like, it tilted itself. I mean, we know these are baby teeth here, which is the fucking strangest thing I've ever seen in my life. But her tooth never sat out like this. It was like they sat in a little square. I don't know if she's living in the car. I doubt it. I don't think she's like, I think, you know, there may have been an issue. There might be issues with her, uh, you know, in her, let's just say, THC use um, at her family's house. I don't even know. I mean, it doesn't seem like her mom, you know, is, is strict by any means with this one. Not a marriage scammer. Don't insult him. Yes, he is. 
Nothing about our... It's called a romance scammer. Relationship was a scam. <laughs> okay. Hi, Scrape Coat. I really have nothing to offer this man. We know. He has to support himself. Like, you know, I... Oh, is this a... Is this a grift? He has to... You said that you didn't even need YouTube because he had it like that. <laughs> between both of you, between his toenails being having surgery and his boils and your boils and your runs to the to the clinic to get sciatic pain and insulin and you both like you know what? Oh my god, you're a burden on each other. That's why it's not working out because she made him think. She made a shit ton of money on YouTube and everybody let, you know, I told her, I said, you got to be careful because your audience dictates your success. She thinks she was in complete control of her success on YouTube. And then she started fucking around and finding out when she started picking really sensitive subjects and just doubling down. And people just kept leaving and leaving and leaving incident after incident after incident. And now she went over to Kuwait and she found out. That the audience dictates the success of your channel because your content has always sucked. It's going to be hard here for me. So I have to worry about myself and he's helping me. He's helping you because you're broke. But, um, yeah. You better be very careful with how much THC you're spending your money on. You'll be getting payday loans before you know it. So he's not a scammer. I literally have nothing to offer him to scam you. Well, that would explain why you're in Canada then. He doesn't really need you. For just my love. <laughs> Your love. Can we ask BBJ and Sam how good you love people and things? Yeah, I didn't think so. Your love depends on him having to FaceTime you and text you at every location. Your love is needy. Your love is untrusting. And your love is about tantrums when you don't get your way. Right? So can you explain what redeeming qualities make him love you? Anyone? <laughs> you know when you establish... You might look at people and say, what an odd couple. Never, never judge that because, you know... You know those little things you have with someone that are like, like little special stupid things, you know? Like you guys in your stupid Jim Carrey lines that you repeat and giggle. Okay, what are we dealing here? What are we dealing with here? Uh, one movie comes to mind. Like the cute little things you have in relationships. I miss those things. Like what? What? He plays fart sounds and you laugh? Oh my God. Maybe Grace. Okay, so the car repair, the car repair was in, oh, I'll wait for you, Dying Duck Fit. Dying Duck Fit found it. Hold on, I gotta go back to here. I'm waiting for you to type it. You retracted it because you spelled something wrong. It's fine. Take your time. We know autocorrect suck. Car repair is taking off hijab at 1340. 1340, 1340, 1340, 1340. But also... Zip it. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, here she is. Yep. Yeah, see you in the next clip. Here we go. So my car is fine. The only thing I need done is some brakes, rotors, and pads. And after labor and everything, it's going to be quite costly. It's going to be like $1,500, but... See? It was repaired while she sat and waited three months ago. Three months ago. 
See it? Three months ago. Facts. $1,500 for brakes and rotors. In December. Bloop. She didn't say she had it done. What are you talking about? She was waiting. She was waiting. Look. She even oh. got snacks and a coffee. I'll have good breaks for a little while. So that's See? Good. I'll have good breaks for a little while. Then today she says it was 2000 And she just had it done? No, she needs money. She's grifting. Nope. She said she got it done. In fact, didn't she even get in the car and talk about, about it being... Uh, Better. She was glad she got it done or some shit. That's good. So I'm getting that fixed right now. Right now. Getting it fixed right now. And in the meantime, I'm enjoying some complimentary coffee and some dad's oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. There you go. She was waiting. Getting it fixed right now. Mm-hmm. I think you can come on a tour with me, Leah. No, he can't come on a... Let me tell you why he can't come on a tourist visa. Because he's Syrian. That's why. Canada is not like the United States of America, okay? And he's single. Let me tell you what. The only reason I believe that I mean, I believe she's broke. She's talked about it in both her live streams. She got a lot of super chats when she first got to Canada. She was giddy. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, my God. Thank you. 50 here, 50 there. She was thrilled. Then she started spouting out her PayPal because you already know super chats are going to show up in her pay next month and Salah's going to see them. She's in Canada and she has a very expensive eating habit and a very expensive THC habit. And in for order for her to fulfill those two habits, she's going to have to get money somewhere else. Cameos, PayPal's. The two things Salad doesn't see. Because she is now, her money is now controlled by him. Wow, I'm so happy for you. So this is love, huh, foodie? All right. No, thank you. No, thank you. You want my tea? Jim Carrey called me the cheese. Are you seriously going back to Clay? And she's starting an Amazon wish list for everything in her apartment to be filled. When everybody told her, put your stuff in storage just in case this doesn't work out. You know, you've spent a lot of money between your bedroom and the living room and your kitchen and all the expensive stuff you have. Just put it in storage. Just put it in storage. And she gave, she left it in that apartment. She didn't even give it away or sell it. Do you think he's withdrawn the money? Yes, because his friend, Mr. A, said that they had to teach her how to transfer the money, which means he has the wire transfer numbers from her account and how to put and how to transfer it to his account. Trust me when I say he's transferring the money. Trust me when I say it, because that's how she is so dumb. She could easily, while she's in Canada, she could easily withdraw her money, cancel that bank account, and open a new bank account at a different bank. She could. No, not. Hi, Emma. Hey, Weezy. And trust me, we've seen what he does behind her back with other women. And, um, but he tells her what she wants to hear. And that's, she is so, like she used to say, you don't know what Nader's saying to me behind my back or behind the, your back. Or like what matters is what he's doing behind your back and what he's saying in front of you, in front of the camera. Uh, I'm, she's not my girlfriend. I'm single. That's what he would say. But now that's not what he's saying to me. He says he wants to get married and yeah, to get your money. I'm like, I can't tap her on the third eye enough, but one more. 
We did long distance. How long distance did you do? Jane, give her a break. So you're gonna stamp what's going on instead of telling her that this guy's going to destroy her financially? So you would rather just ignore it. I don't know what kind of mom you were, but I'll tell you one thing, man. I was, I don't sugarcoat shit. I'm not Willy Wonka. I'm just saying, I'm just to the truth. And if, does this entertain you? Is, it, is that why you want me to just give her a break? Okay, foodie, you're right. He loves you. Just, you know, keep paying for all that stuff over there. Oh, you're being sarcastic? Thank God. I was getting worried about you. I was like a caged bird. But nobody was forcing me to stay inside. I was isolating myself. It's not like Salah locked me in the apartment and was like, you know. Anything I wanted to do, he would do it. It's just, my health is not good. I don't want to do anything. How can I keep up with any kind of life? Okay, let's go with your theory of bullshit you just said. So the reason you stayed indoors in Kuwait is because he, he would have done anything with you. You just didn't want to do anything. Okay, A, you don't feel like you fit in in Kuwait. I get it. Everybody stared at you because you're the most obese person in Kuwait, which makes sense because it's the hottest place on earth. Everybody's got to keep the weight off so they don't die. My God, I, had, I lost 50 pounds before I eat, no, I will. I lost 30. I lost 30 pounds before I even went to Florida because I was afraid my fat would boil. I get that. It's miserable when you're heavy and uh, it's hotter than Hades. So you stayed indoors alone, gained 100 pounds because you were not healthy. Now you're in Canada. Not only did you just spend a whole day flying and traveling, but you have been running around in that Kia doing things since you got home. Make it make sense. So now you're fine when you're in Canada. You can run to dispensaries, restaurants, fast food, everything you want to do, you can go do, and you're physically fine to do it. But you go over to Kuwait and you don't leave the apartment. How, does this make sense to any of you? How come she's physical enough to go shopping at Pennington's, drive around in her car, go to the dispensaries? What? But she wouldn't leave the apartment. She still went shopping at Pennington's. She can't even walk out her door of her apartment and, and just go down to the beach. Like... I think she don't fit in in Kuwait and everyone stares at her. And it could be her own guilt for pretending to be Muslim. So I have to try to get healthy, that's all. <laughs> Tear drop. I haven't cut my hair in a while. Hi, Colleen. No, I said he did in Jenna. I think she is. Um, not, I don't even know if it's ashamed, but worried to show herself in Kuwait. Somebody recognized her when they were somewhere. So everybody in Kuwait, uh, the Muslim community is not happy with her. A guy at the mall, she was filming and a guy at the mall in, in Arabic said, um, I spit on you. So maybe they don't take kindly to Westerners coming over there. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe she'll never tell us. But I'm just saying the words aren't matching her actions. Yeah, she's still, well, the only time she left the apartment before, no, she did quite a bit in her channel. Um, with Nader, she ran around constantly. She exercised on exercise balls. She put on a show. She ran in motel rooms. She was just like, da 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 right? Losing weight like crazy. Um, when she was with BB, she wasn't happy, but she still went out with Peach and they dumpster dive. They made skits. So it's all the, it's all the depression because, uh, not her pick Didi that's made her this nutball that she is today. 
Of course. I would like, never move away from my husband either. So if you're going to try to convince me, right? You're going to try to convince me you're married legally on paper. That means you're a resident in Kuwait. There would be absolutely no reason to ever leave. It's so dumb. Right. The happiest she's ever been was with Pete. Everybody knows it. Like, of course that will always be in my mind, but like, I don't. I can't live that way, so no. People act like you went out all the time before. You were always a homebody. Yeah. No, she wasn't. You're a airy. So these people weren't around during the Natter arc. She was never home. She was always running around. Yeah, always running around. She was shopping at Pennington's. She took us to all kinds of places. Her and Pete would go shopping. Uh, she'd get in a, she'd get in that, um, she, they, they were always fucking around in the stores. So no, it's not true. She was not, she did not get depressed and stay in the luxury villa until after Natter broke up with her. Aries. <laughs> well, I think she's going to move back in with Pete. Um, I don't think she wants to because she wants a man to claim her, even though Pete would claim her in a minute. She just wants a man to claim her on her channel. So dumb. Hmm. Maybe would you have... Hi, Bubbles. Yes, Lauren Lou, right? Leaving your husband with no definite plan or date of return. What kind of marriage is that? It's called a non-existent marriage. She's over there on a visitor visa. They're playing this whole game because he wants to go to Canada. She, in his mind, she is his hope now because they've been there almost two years. So they've put in the time. The problem is she's never going to clear her debt to be able to bring him to Canada. And I don't think he knows that. I think she keeps making him believe that she's going to bring him to Canada. And that's why he continues to hold on. The end. I'm not taking any steps right now. So. She's not taking any steps towards her health right now. Did you just hear that? She got an apartment. Yeah, we know. She had to put a deposit down today. She can't move in until. She said, I can't move in until the end of the month. But I put a deposit down. But if I change my mind, I can always get the deposit back. That's what she said. Yeah, she's in Canada to try to get super chats, build her channel, and get and have weed and eat whatever the hell she wants. So there's that. Mm. I'm a lobby. Welcome, Salam. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, sometimes I didn't leave for a while. Like, not for big things or to do fun things. Yes, yeah, you did. You went to the haunted, for um, whatever, the haunted drive. You went to the pumpkin patch with Pete. You went to, um, you went to uh, those uh, craft, outdoor craft shows with Aunt Phyllis, you drove around with Aunt Phyllis, you went to Pennington's, you went and bought a computer. A pe you have done more living of life than you did after marrying the man of your dreams. So stop. And it's going to be too hot, but I don't know. You're not going back. Just get busy. But yeah. The Pride Parade, yep. Oh my God, the the things she went and did and all the skits they made and rolling down a hill in her underwear, taking long walks, going to the parks. Go, come on. She got to Kuwait and gave up. And gained 100 pounds. That says depression. It is hard to get into a doctor here, yeah. What are you doing, Tiggy Z? Tiggy! Yeah, I'm still doing cameos. Um, Toby, Toby, Michael. I have no idea who that is. <sighs> Someone should be faithful no matter what. Yes. I agree.
<lacht> ja. Hi, Melissa. Ja. You were telling her about herself in the chat? Well, the thing is, is she loves this game of uh, you're all crazy. It's real. She loves that game, even though all the facts are out there on the Kuwaiti government site. It's not like she moved to America and she could pull all, she could pull all this off, right? Um, but, but Kuwait has certain uh, laws about um, um, bringing in expats. And they have criteria, requirements. Um, everything they do is on the Kuwaiti website. And there's no way. There, and I, we even said, eventually Kuwait's not going to renew her visa. They may make her wait a year. Uh, so that could have been what happened. She got over to Germany because uh, that's a short stent over, right? And then over there, you know, you can indulge, right, while you're waiting for your visa hell he may even went with her over there to get high together we don't know and then they denied her which means he had to go back home and she had to find a ride to canada i mean that would make more sense than anything because i just don't feel like salah really gives a shit whether she's in kuwait or canada i don't think he really cares as long as she claims him as her husband and gives her money Gives him money, pays for the new car, pays for the apartment. And now she's stressing because she's got to pay for an apartment in Canada or live with her mom. And I'm pretty sure the stepdad's like, yeah, no, figure your shit out. You're 40. You know what I mean? <laughs> she's got herself in a pickle. Sorry about that. Yeah, and she said, I just want to lay in bed and rot. Then go lay in bed and rot. What, what do you want people to do? Always pat you. Oh, it's okay, cutie. We're here for you. People aren't going to pay your way. You're giving your money to a stranger. You should just say, I can't do this anymore. I can't do No, but she'll give all her money away to a man that will claim her. Oh, what did she say? If you would only, what was it? If you if you would only fake love me, I'll give you everything you want. Yeah, Salah, get up, go find a real job. I don't think selling Beezer spray to the freaking Dollar Tree is going to be your golden ticket. Well, of course, she's 10 years older than him and they have nothing in common except for she wants a fake man on her channel and he wants a ride to Canada. <laughs> I love this story. It's 90 Day Idiots. It'll be just, just be better when I'm in my own place. Not going well over at Mommy's, is it? What? Eating them out of house and home, are ya? There's just something that's really depressing about it. I don't know why, like, I feel like I've backtracked if I, if I move back here, like a full circle. Uh, what did you do? What did you do? Did you see Natter? And now, oh, did you, did you go see Natter? Uh, something tells me uh, that when she says full circle, that means back to Natter. I know she just got there. I have a feeling uh, uh, she wanted to see Nodder or she did see Nodder. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. She sure was giddy that first day. Hi, Hockey. I don't like Taylor Swift. One, one more to me. <laughs> yeah, maybe she's being that problem teen again. Or... She's, uh, you know how she was? She cheated on Pete. She cheated on BB. I don't know. Z. Yeah. yeah, her chat's moving awful slow. Nader will take her money too. Exactly. He's a gigolo, gigolo. My nail guy. 
Hi, Ferris Georgie. You can help us more. Yeah, I know. She don't care about her health. She ain't there for her health. You already seen it. She couldn't get to that Harvey's drive-thru and eat a non-halal burger with onion rings and a soda. She ate three drive throughs in one day. Three drive throughs in one day when she got home. This is not about her health. Uh-uh. She loves her food. Hey, Stanley. Was not her acting um, extra punchy, extra dancey. <laughs> we don't know. I mean, Dee Dee might have been at work when she went and got her car. Human can opener? That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, Breezeth. Yeah, it is scary. Hi, Jack. Yeah, probably about drugs, definitely. THC and freedom to eat when she wants, how she wants, as much as she wants. She went and bought clothes. Get a load of this. She went and bought clothes from Pennington's one size bigger. One size bigger. Now, most people won't go buy new clothes if they're going to have a health arc. So they can be more suitable with a young man right? They don't go buy one size bigger unless they're going to eat themselves into it. Do you see what I'm saying? Most women. Yeah, I think she's got not around the mind. She's always had not around the mind. It's not a Mika marriage. Yes, it is. And it's not even a marriage. It was a loophole. It lasted seven days, according to Murad. You've been, you've been renting that place on your own. A single woman can live in a family home, a family apartment building. A man, single man cannot, but a single woman could. Salah even said it. So you've been renting that place by yourself. And it was probably furnished. Yeah. Oh, I See, that tooth has changed. Something's, something's not right with it. It's moved. Who remembers when Natter showed her underwear? Oh, yeah, that was gold. Gotta go to the Canadian Tire. She never struck him. She never struck his channel either. When he did that, humiliated her on public YouTube, she never struck his channel. And I think she'll get an apartment with uh, uh, Pete's. Because Pete's is like pretending like... Because somebody said, why can't um, Foodie come stay with you? And he said, oh, because um, I live in, a pe in people's house. A, um, a, you know, an older couple's house. And then they said, um, is she going to get to an apartment? Or are um, you going to be living with her? And he said, he kind of said something like... Um, I'm going to leave that up to her or whatever. In other words, she told him to keep his mouth shut. At a 3M sticky. So I don't give two shits if she hangs out with Pete or lives with Pete. Trust that. Not or did. Not or did. That looks like the canine tooth. Yeah, it is, but it's moved. It never um, was turned like that. Oh, gingivitis will shift your teeth. Well, there you go. Um, anyways, yeah. I just like feel insane. Like I can't keep like going back and forth and back and forth. Back and forth between what? Natter and Salah? You, you something's occurred. And you, I don't think you feel guilt. I think you feel torn between which one's going to last longer. Instead of you just getting your head right, getting your health right, and worrying about yourself. I mean, you literally got to stand on solid ground and build your own character in order to be good for anybody. The end. Back and forth. But I can't decide, like, you know. Back and forth. 
And we ain't talking Canada and Kuwait. We're talking about her mind is confused. I don't know. Looked like they were packing that place up. Um, so I don't know if every time she leaves, she's giving up her renting the place or if she's going to keep paying for it while it's empty um, in case she goes back. Uh, that could be what's confusing her is do I keep paying for the place in Kuwait? When will I be able to go back? Ha like, has her visa been denied? How long till she could be approved again? Should she get an apartment in Canada? Or this living situation she's in is not working? I think this is where we're at. It doesn't have anything to do with, uh, like, I think she was forced to go to Kuwait. I promise you. I don't think it was about her birthday at all. I think she went to Germany. She was going to get her visa renewed, and they denied it. And then she had to find a ride to Canada from Germany. That's what I think. I think she border hopped. It was kind of like Thailand. Thailand was six weeks. They were broke by the time they left there, but she didn't care because she was with Salah. She couldn't sit in Germany for six weeks, maybe even three months, six months. She still doesn't know. That's why she's in this little pickle. Should I just stay here for a while? <laughs> Should I get an apartment? She has no home. She has, she, listen, she's a no home, no cat, walking motherfucker. I don't know why she just, well, there's no room at Dee Dee and Natter's. <laughs> there's no room because they're sleeping on the couch. <laughs> why don't you and Dee Dee and Natter get a two bedroom over there in Montreal? Come on now. Yeah, wherever she goes, there she is. Uncle Phil will help her. I don't know if Uncle Phyllis will help her. Uncle Phyllis may be in her own situation. You know what I'm saying? She could pass. Listen, if Uncle Phyllis had a two bedroom or whatever, they could make it work. So I feel like Uncle Phyllis might be in her own situation. <laughs> we need a two bro. That's what I'm thinking too, AKA Shaza. Yeah, playing the same game. She flew to Germany, didn't didn't work for the visa and had to go to Canada. Yep, Kuwait said no visa. That's what I think. And we all knew that day was coming. I don't know. She can't afford to sit in Canada, pay for an apartment there, furnish it, and Keep affording her food and gummy habit. Now, if she said goodbye to Kuwait, goodbye to Salah, absolutely she could. Absolutely she could. Yeah. Give it at least a month. She can't sign an apartment beezer and give it a month. And she ain't going to stay living with her mom and her stepdad and bust her. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. She is the one that created this life. She needs to figure it out and quit being a burden to people who are trying to live a married life without Chantal wandering around their house. Yeah, because I mean, the summer over there... <laughs> You don't even leave the apartment. What do you care about the heat in Kuwait? Not good. Sorry, I have an itchy nose. Hmm. Is that your weight loss plan this time too? Hopefully you don't have a heart attack. Focus on the greater good. Hey, Paul. Listen, Dee Dee likes the whole threesome thing. <laughs> Chantal wants Natter to herself. And that ain't ever going to happen. And she knows it. Now, she can go over there and party with them. Right? But she ain't getting Natter all to herself. She knows that now. Does her sister live at home with the parents? I have no idea. I have no idea if her sister's like 
pregnant or married and living with her man. I have no idea. It's just hard not being with your husband. Like, it's really, really harder than I thought. Well, then why'd you leave him? Maybe if you could just tell the truth, then people would actually have some empathy for you. But the fact that you're going to keep bullshitting us, because no woman would leave her husband for a tantrum. Then you know you have no you just absolutely have no um business being a wife. Husband and wives don't leave each other. Because you want THC and fast food. No, the truth is you want you want the Western world freedoms, but you'll never want Salah in Canada because he'll be out out bless him, day one, he'll be gone. He'll be gone, just like, just like what's their face um, from 90 Day Fiance. I mean, she, what was it, Michael, right? And, and what's, what's the woman's name? He finally got to America and he's hiding. He's hiding from her because she's as nutty as they come and just about as suffocating as Chantal. I thought it would be, you know. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So all he wanted was a ride to Canada. She's good fans, Beezer. Like eviction. She's a shit. I mean, my God, for all we know, he's Nader's friend and she's over there doing all this for Nader. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. And she, Angie, thank you. Angie and Michael. Michael's hiding. She said, if I find him, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Salah will be off and gone. Trust me, Salah knows people in Canada, and he just wants to get to Canada. And she promised him she would get him to Canada, and she can't get him to Canada. She lied to him. She still thinks in her delusional mind that if she clears up, she pays off the Kia, she clears up her tax problem, that she would qualify to bring her fake husband over. But Canada is going to require a legal marriage license. The end. Anyways. Yeah. He's staying there. Hi, Cassidy. I think. So she thinks Salah's staying at the apartment. She thinks. Well, a single man cannot stay in that apartment. He may be going over there like he does and checking on the animals, but I don't think he could stay there. I asked her, bring Salah to Canada, and she ignored. <laughs> <laughs> I want to rent a room. Can you imagine her renting a room from somebody? Oh my God. Yeah. Kimmer wants you to uh, put on your crazy wigs with those glasses and just take one for the team. Why can't they get married in Canada instead? Um, I don't know what Canada's laws are about bringing a... They won't even let a single Syrian man without a career. We're talking like a teacher or something like that. It's the same thing in Canada. Canada's very strict about... Like I said, if he would have been looking for the USA, he'd already been across the border by now. But why he's... And then he could have got a, a residency in the United States and then he could have just went to Canada with the United States residency. So, or citizenship. Um, so he just did everything ass backwards because he doesn't know what he's doing. He could have easily have been in Canada by now. She ain't getting him to Canada. He could have came into the United States, got his citizenship, and then moved to Canada. Unbelievable. But as a Syrian, then he could have got an American driver's license. He could have got an American passport and he would have been an American. That's why everybody wants to come to America, not Canada, because Canada is strict. Single Syrian man with no career. 
is never going to get in the doors of Canada. Now, if, if she really was married legally to him on paper, right, then she could go to Canada, establish them a house, and bring put in the application for him to come over and join her. And she'd be talking all about that. She would be so excited. So we know. She's, he screwed with her, and uh, she knows the gig's going to be up soon. And he's going to move on and find somebody else, for real. Probably from the United States. Anyway, I don't want to be depressing again. My tin has vacancies. Ew, there was barf. Lady Pappy, hello. Thank you. Don't cry. Listen, we let everybody in the doors here. We don't care where you're from. Syria, China, Venezuela, Cambodia, blah, blah, blah. We don't care here. We don't care here. They're coming from everywhere. Same with, um, uh, the uh, same in the UK. They're just flooding in. I know, I'm grateful. Every day I was born an American. And, um, you know, we, we let people in. You don't even have to have a birth certificate for real. <laughs> Thanks for the super sticker. <laughs> yes, she has said she's not bringing him to Canada. Yes, she has said that. And she's worried because he will bolt. He will take off. Um, she will be responsible for five years for financially and if he gets in any trouble. She will be responsible. Thank you, Creepy. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just get <laughs> down. Like, this is the thing. My mood's like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Hi, Millie. Yeah, we'll house you, feed you. We will give you um, a phone. We will give you a, I, what is it? A $5,000 um, prepaid debit card. Yeah. It's the land of hopes and dreams over here. Um, that's not true. It depends on which way you come in, Celebrity Juicer. It depends on which way you come in. Does it not? I mean, you ain't flying in here on a commercial flight with a Syrian passport. You got to come in the other way. There's something missing here. Ramadan? No, I'm not doing Ramadan. You haven't done Ramadan in two years. Thanks for the super chat. Motel 6. <laughs> yeah, right. You think, you think they look at criminal backgrounds here in the United States? <laughs> no. They ain't looking at anything. It's a different... It's a different situation right now than the normal situation. Deep age is missing. <laughs> well, yeah, Jane, I agree with you. And some of the stuff he has said and some of the things we've seen on his older Facebook, he seems to be a little bit of an extremist when it comes to what he believes in. And trust me, he hates Christianity. He's even said it, pretty much. Um, she's breathing heavy because it's her, it's her gummy breathing. You ever listen to her when she, her breathing becomes like, <sighs> that's when she's on gummies. No, what I need, I, there's something missing, but it's not, I don't know. She's afraid uh, because she's stuck in Canada right now um, that he's going to leave her. And he probably will. He probably already is scamming other women. She's just not real smart. He just tells her what she wants to hear. I'm just like, no matter what situation I'm in, there's always something missing. You're missing yourself. Get annoying. Quit looking to other people to make you happy. Look at how high she's getting. Oh. <gasps> My God, those gummies kicked in like 20 minutes ago. Look at this. 
Hi, Frosty the Home Man. I don't know if he should come for the most. Let's try to get the thumbs up to at least half. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it for the first time ever. Psychiatrist, I don't know. I'm sick of this psychiatric crap. I just want to, like, you know, be more settled. But I have to pick, before I can do any hard work, I have to be consistent on what I want. Like, I can't keep changing the course. Like, how can I master anything in my life that way? So let me get this straight. Why would you have changed the course? Because you wanted to get high? Because you just wanted to eat what you wanted to eat when you wanted to eat it. All you thought about was Canada food. Yeah, you need some serious impatient. Hi, Blondie Marcel. Can you imagine leaving your husband because you want to eat non-halal drive through food? Could you imagine? I can't wait for the next rage. No. Yeah, she's high. Listen to her breathing. Yeah, but what is it about me that's what I can figure out too cool? It's supposed to be on the 18th, my therapy session. You could have been doing sessions online before you even left Kuwait. Knock it off. It is never about therapy. B.S. Get a motor home. Get a motor home. What are these people? Challenged? Are you mentally challenged, Beezers? What do you mean? Get a, you could get a good deal on a motorhome and travel the country and vlog it all. Yeah, that sounds like Chantal. Can you imagine? God, that would be gold. She would be just like Rich Life. It would be just like Rich Life. That would be gold. Of course she's high. The time to be born, the time to be a time to be a time to be a grown up and a time to oh. I don't know how old their beezers are, but I'm gonna guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? As soon as I quit my day job here at the gas station, I want to get myself a motorhome and travel the country. You should do that too, Chantal. <laughs> I would pay to see that. Hell, I'll get you the motorhome. <laughs> yeah, it should be like Rich Life or Elvis Travels. <laughs> Can you even picture her in a bathroom in a motorhome? No, I have a lot of friends. I don't have enough. I don't make enough time for any of them. Because you sit in your car and eat. Oh my God, you have a lot of friends, but you can't make any time for them. Oh, I'm sorry. Is your job on YouTube doing four live streams a day in your car? It's just, you know, it's just so time consuming. Your friends don't even want to see you. They know you're annoying and all you do is whine. <laughs> For real. We know. She didn't get any super chats. They're already over it. Because she's talking about Kuwait again. I told you. I told you. If she says, I'm here for good. I'm done with Kuwait. I'm going to get on with my life. And you guys are going to be here for a, a part of it. Or all of it. And we're going to do this together. She would build that channel. And the super chats would roll in like no tomorrow. But when she starts this bullshit again... People are like, you got to be kidding me. She's doing this again? Yeah. Yeah, I think this whole situation is effed. And that's why she's upset. I mean, I don't hate myself. <laughs> what? Say what? <laughs> If this is your, if this is loving yourself, I don't ever want to love myself. If this is you loving yourself, <laughs> I don't ever want to love myself. I don't know what's wrong. I just, maybe I don't have like faith in myself. I don't know. To just function in a world, in a country 
where you live and they give you free health care? Do you know what we pay in the United States of America for health care? Are you kidding me? And living on top. I can't with her. Anyway. Salah's doing everything to stop her from um, canceling her bank, pulling her money out, and being done. He will say anything. Oh, it's so sexy when you drop food on your chest. I'm a feeder. You can come back here and I'll feed you. I don't care if you die in that bed. I don't expect anything out of you, but just make sure you vlog your muk mukbangs and play your gaming streams. <laughs> He's trying to get a ticket to Canada. Sexy. Oh my God. Well, I don't listen. My husband drops food on a sweatshirt all the time, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, I just washed that. Could you put your plate somewhere near your mouth? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not sitting there encouraging that. <laughs> well, thanks, Kim Richards. Yeah, she's some. She's hiding something, and she loves to tell everybody what's going on. She loves to be raw and real, and she is so stifled. It's ridiculous. Yep. Now she's so deep in lies, she has to literally suffer alone. Your husband too, Kimmer, right? Ringless? <clears throat> no. How come I can't see anything? Because you got on pharmacy blue light blocker glasses. <laughs> that Salah fit on his Frankenstein freaking head. And then bought them for you and brought them home for you to wear. Whoa. Yeah. They look real prescription. <laughs> he picked them out for you. Oh my God, talk about not being able to function in society. You, you said you went to an eye doctor and got a prescription. So why aren't you ordering prescription glasses while you're in Canada? Oh, that's right, because they're like $300. And that could go towards food and THC. Oh, anyways, guys. Really? Yeah, but see, here's the problem. If you super chatter and then you know, or say, I'll give you a hundred bucks in a super chat, or you should say PayPal. That's going to go a lot farther for her. So I'll PayPal you a hundred bucks. You take that hijab off on camera. Do it, girl. You don't even have to wear it and you know it. Mm-hmm. Would she do it? I don't know. She's showing her tattoo and don't seem to care. She's eating uh, non-halal food and doesn't seem to care. She's eating during the daytime, during Ramadan. She thinks Ramadan's just fasting. She doesn't even know that Ramadan's all about the connection with God and all the things you have to do in Ramadan. Besides sacrificing food during daylight, she thinks that's all it is. That, that tells me she knows nothing. Haram means going against Allah. Oh, yeah, she used to get $500 super chats from S-Jam. That's what happens when you get cocky. This is what happens when you get cocky or start insulting people and their, their religions, their cultures, what they believe in, uh, their gay lifestyle. She has insulted everything. There's nothing left. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, the seller comments are getting deleted because my mods, like... People can feel any way they want about Salah. He let himself be known that he hates Christian women and he wants to grape them. So, yeah, I suppose you can feel any way you want with an open chat. You know, that's why the mods, like, they respect me. They respect, the, uh, you know, my, my husband and the person. It's not your husband. If you love your husband so much and respect him, why'd you leave him? Why'd you leave him? I have to get out of here. I need THC. I can't do this anymore. You're never home. I don't know where you're at. Is that my, am I getting close? <laughs> Person I love, you know, even if like you don't like him, 
something? Nope, not even a little bit. That third three-time black belt wearing poo. Not even close. That's why he's hiding. We didn't even get to see the big smile on his face when he threw your luggage in that cart to be wheeled into the airport. You know, still, it's still a respectful thing. Like. Uh, respect is earned, not demanded. He hasn't earned it. In fact, it's never gonna happen. Give it up, oh, just no. like Natter. Sorry. <laughs> Lady J. That may be part of the reason she went to Canada because he refuses to go back in front of the camera and it just looks like a big joke. Right? Right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Anyone? Am I wrong? But, um, yeah. She wanted us to like Natter. She wants us to like Salah, even though they show their true self. Her dream is to have a couple's channel. So I'm, I'm just, I just go through these emotions, like, and I don't know, like, what, how I'm going to feel when I go live. So sorry. Then why go live? Isn't YouTube for content and, I don't know, entertainment? I just feel really torn, really sad. Can you imagine that day? When Salah shows his face on a live stream, can you imagine? They would have to turn off the chat. But then nobody would watch. Because the audience dictates your success, darling. Especially when you got no personality and no content. A lot of people have BD. I don't know. Don't diagnose me. Who knows? Oh, does anyone out there think she has BPD? Borderline personality disorder? Anyone? Ha! <laughs> anyone? Put a one in the chat. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Put a one in the chat if you think she has borderline personality disorder. <laughs> oh, oh, well, there you go. There you go. It's the court of public opinion. It's better than Dr. TikTok, especially people that have been watching you forever. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Reginald. So I don't know. I have a lot of thinking to do, I think. Too bad you can't be honest with your audience or they could help you. I said think. I didn't say diagnose her. I just said think. Listen, you can, you can think whatever you want. I know that the world's trying to tell you that, you know, oh God, can you imagine? It, it, you know what I mean? It, it's like if you're a free thinker, they got to shut you down, shut you up. Uh, you know what I mean? And you can say, I think, I think, I think, I think. But, but people say today, oh, well, you know what? Uh, she said for sure. <laughs> That's what they do now. All you got to go do is look at all the boxes that'll get checked. A therapist is literally going to make you take like a, uh, like a MPP, what is that? A MPPI. Uh, it's a personality quiz, right? And, and then, you know, the diagnosis rolls right out of it for real. You know, she doesn't sit in a therapist office and be honest because she's too busy with what people think about her instead of just being honest. Honest, like, the reason she's struggling with anxiety is because she can't even be honest. And that's what will set her free. Whether people like it or not, whether Salah likes it or not, why are people stifling her? That's what you got to ask. Of course she won't get help. If she can't manipulate the therapist, she's not going to stick around. If she even goes to the appointment to begin with. She's been in and out of therapy and homes forever. And the only thing that will set her free is just be honest with yourself. Be honest with your audience. Be honest with your family. 
And you will release all that anxiety, girl. Trust me. You're talking. I remember Pete saying once a long time ago she was diagnosed with BPD. I don't know. I've never heard it. Pretty moments. See, like, this is the thing. Like, I know you guys all want this for me. Like, holy my. Okay, look at this. Let's oh, see. Carly's in there. Her only fans, girl. The one she did the photo shoot with. Carly's in there. Fun. I shock myself when I see what the hell? <laughs> Don't act like that. <laughs> I'm annoying. Uh, I'm so annoying. <laughs> we know. <laughs> I feel like we have an anxiety attack. What'd you do? You did something that you're feeling really anxious about. She did something. She must have contacted now. She can't help herself. She can't help herself. I'm telling you, something happened. Oh my gosh. Like for real, man, I have an anxiety attack. Why did I come here? <sighs> See, I'm having an anxiety attack. Why did I come here? This is reminiscent of how she would act with Natter. Oh my goodness. What did you do? <sighs> oh my. What'd she do? I'm only teaching them. <laughs> I am annoying. Whoa! 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 <laughs> there were people just... <laughs> what is that shrinking? She definitely can't control herself in Canada, anywhere near Nader. And she landed in Montreal. I hate this Yeah, thing. she's the cat that swallowed the canary. I gotta go to Shrek. I have to go to Canadian Tire and get 3M tape. You were supposed to do that yesterday. You were supposed to go fix that mount. <sighs> okay. <sighs> you think so, Tara? She may have. It may have been just way too... Obs I don't even know. Curios curiosity always kills the cat. Hey, Stacy says... Shut up, Siri. I said cat, not Siri, you idiot. Yeah, she's definitely feeling guilty about something. Oh my gosh. Now we gotta redo the the volume. Hold on. Okay, we're good, I think. No. Every time Siri does that, it messes with my Bluetooth. Maybe she called Nat. Maybe her car was at Nat. Remember, people were saying that it looked like she was sitting in Lachine waiting for that cab to go get her car. Which, that's where Dee Dee lives. Maybe her car was left there when she went to the airport the last time. Because maybe nobody would drive her to the airport. So she drove her car to Dee Dee's and left it in their driveway. Perhaps. Just breathe. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Tenny. Can I get a tire visa? No, it's not a visa run. It's supposed to be a lifestyle change. Okay, let me think my rationalization. I can't. I get I get bored easy. I don't know. You sat in Kuwait in an apartment and just watched YouTube videos and TikToks. Tick ticky tocks. So what do you mean you get bored easy? You love laying around not doing a damn thing. So what does that mean? You get bored easy? Where did you go? What did you do? I'm telling you right now, the truth shall set you free and entertain the shit out of us. Do you know how viral you would go? <laughs> On impulse, yep. 
Oh. Impulse. Gee. No, I did think about it for a while. I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm just, it's just hard. That's all. I'll come to my senses. Don't worry. Will you? <laughs> Will she come to her senses? Yeah, and she was driving the long road where the outhouse is, correct? It's hard when I see, like, pictures of them and, and they send me pictures of we video. And then after I'm all depressed. <laughs> Why? You left. You left. You know. Go home, make a plan, take action, yeah. Right, exactly. The sciatic thing. Can we talk about it? She flew for a bajillion hours. She's been doing live streams in her car, sitting in the same position without moving. Uh-oh. What did I tell you, yo mama? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I'm glad you're packed for Armageddon. You turn that garage into a bunker. Yeah, you need generators and shit, people. Yeah, like I can't be, yeah, I can't be fully happy in either. It's weird. Yeah, if she's a resident, she's truly married, and she's changing her mind, why can't she just fly back, <laughs> right? Like I can't be fully happy here, and I can't be fully happy there. Why can't you be fully happy there? Huh. Why can't you be fully happy in Canada? My God, maybe it's time for you to take a rocket to the moon. Yeah, sciatic's magically gone. <laughs> this makes no sense to me. Why can't she be happy in Kuwait? Hmm. Hmm. Yo, mama, you should never make fun of people with Alzheimer's. Because you don't like her. Listen, universe gives back what you give out. You better be careful with that stuff. There's things I'm missing in each situation. So what are you missing in Canada? If you've got a home with a cat, a rat, and a husband. And all the halal food, uh, so you don't go back on uh, eating food that is against your Muslim culture. What are you missing in Canada besides natter? What are you missing in Canada? Pete's? It makes no sense. Like, in, yeah. <sighs> Teardrop. Hmm. Health arc was supposed to be it, yeah. She's never going to do a health arc. Ha! I mean, come on, let's be real. She hit three drive throughs the first day she was back. And I mean, overconsumption, right? So we ain't here for a health arc. We know that's a fact. Get addicted to exercise. <laughs> uh... See, she don't want to exercise. She don't want to eat right. Hell, she in that airport where she got that gas station moist sandwich blah, <laughs> with questionable probably mayo. There were halal restaurants in there, but she chose. Want to know why she chose that little gas station um, sandwich? to get her, just get her through till she got to her car and could hit the drive throughs That's it, the end. Yeah. Anyway. You think she's applying for a work visa over there? Well, you have to be a professional. Is professional YouTuber part of the um, criteria? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know, Richard. She would probably eat sushi at a gas station for sure, Jane. Natter's avoiding her, so she's depressed. Possibly. 
We'll see what, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm here now, so I can't, I just, I just think of like what the future is. You're 40. We're not 18 and our parents just kicked us out of the house. You're 40. Oh my God. Uh, I don't know what happened to Shannon. Haven't seen her. Oh my God, you're 40? You had a home, you had two cats, you had a life, and then all because of Natter, you're having an identity crisis? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, yes. Get to the therapist ASAP. I think he bought her those glasses at the pharmacy for a joke. I kind of do. They're, they're not even on her ears. <laughs> I don't know what I want. And it's making me feel insecure and... You don't know what you want. Yeah, yo mama, where's your friends Kevin and Diddy? <laughs> Diddy don't? No, Diddy do. Diddy and deep do. <laughs> and I hear... He's got a lot of good friends that are shaking in their boots. One of them is Ashton Kutcher. Oh, look the last person he was lined up with. Yeah, that dude's in prison. Anxious and depressed. Did he done it? Chubby <laughs> Hughes! I can't wait to see Chubby Hughes. Maybe what I could do is, like I said, have two bases, one here, one there. Yeah, okay. What are you, a Kardashian now? You're a Kardashian, but you're not a Kardashian. You ain't got that kind of bag. You can't afford a place in Canada with a kitty cat and then abandon that kitty cat to go over to Kuwait and see another kitty cat and then abandon that kitty cat to go back to Canada. Girl, stop. I'm afraid being apart that we're going to forget each other. And let's pretend like we can travel back and forth like some international traveler with her little, you know, Gucci purse and heels. Girl, you're in busted out um, sketchers with compressed stockings all the way up to your navel and you're barely living through each flight. Stop. I think that we should circle back around to the health arc. How about we start there? Let's forget about men and kitty cats, and let's just worry about getting ourselves into a nice pair of jeans and starting to live. Let's start there. That's where we should start. You're welcome. Or something, I can't like. I'm afraid we're gonna forget each other. No, he's gonna find somebody that's gonna get him to Canada. And then one day he may ring your doorbell while you're sitting there with 40 cats, right? with a TV dinner in your lap. He'll be like, ding dong, and you open the door, and he'll be there with his new girl. Hey, I just want to say hi, I finally made it. <laughs> he won't forget you. He'll come and ding dong your bell and say hi to you. You'll be there knitting something, knitting some ham colored blanket. Sam will cheer me up, oh my gosh. Oh, I just need Sam to hug me. That's all I need in this life is a kitty cat that will hug me. Girl, hug yourself and go do something for yourself. Love yourself. You definitely hate yourself. For real, for real. You're destroying your temple, which is your only way to live is to be able to move around freely, run through airports, uh, be able to jog, be able to go into the water and swim. What you're doing is suffocating. And even the spanks you're wearing around your chins is got to be suffocating. Yeah, your mama gets raged at by foodie. He, he don't just kiss her ass. He, listen, he's got his own thing going on. He's, your mama's got his own thing going on. Uh, and you know what? It's fine. But he don't agree with everything she does. Because if he did... Well, then he would just be, you know, he would be a simp for sure. One more thing, one thing, whenever I have my place, when I move into my new place, 
Exactly. Then... He kisses her ass. Well, it looks that way. It really does. I mean, he takes up for all her haters. He definitely does that. But that's just his angle. I don't know why his name is your mama. It should be your daddy. He hates Frenchie. He doesn't really care for Shannon. Um, didn't you, <laughs> didn't you threaten to fight Shannon? <laughs> I would do a whole Jake Paul thing with you. Isn't that the one that is, wants to fight Tyson? Isn't it Jake Paul that's a boxer? I, I, I've heard he's pretty good. Is he? I don't even know. I would do that. That would be great content. <laughs> me and me and your mom. I'll come knocking on your garage, right? I'll come knocking on your garage. I'll be like, I'm here, motherfucker. Right, I'll be filming my way in. Past the green screens. I want to smell the gasoline. I want to see the weed whacker hanging behind you and shit. Man, that would be gold. And then you'd fight me because you'd be mad as hell. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll forget each other. But... HD says, I'll kick him in the balls. You going with me, HD? All right. What do you do with a FFG and Shannon fight? Yeah, I heard FFG say she's never going back to Cornwall. So, yeah. That's what I got out of that. But really, it's none of my business. They're fighting whatever. Yeah. The heart never forgets. The heart never forgets. The heart is an involuntary muscle which requires you to eat healthy so it doesn't implode on itself. Okay? It's not a Hallmark movie. It's a for real muscle. There are three things in your body that require staying healthy in order for you to continue to live. The heart, the liver, and the brain. So can we get back to reality? No, I'm not broke. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. I'll, I think I'll just go back and forth. I can't wait to see that. You traveling. Uh, okay. All right. Until we decide, like, I don't know. I'm nervous about having him come here with me because, like, because he will be gone in a day. There? You can control I, him because he can't go anywhere. I feel like, I guess, like he's, um, like, he takes care of me there. But me, like, I, I don't know. I would, like, be the one responsible, like, to take care of somebody, like, around a, for a weird country for them. I, I don't know, like, you know. <laughs> so what you're saying is, you know that if you got him to Canada, which you can't, Anyway, you would be financially responsible for him for five years. Wow, could you imagine? There's no freaking way. <laughs> it scares me. Yeah, it'd scare me too. You need to give your body a restroom flight. I don't want to go through that again. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I got through it last time. Oh. Because you were forced to. If it's meant to be, it will be. That's true. It's a lot if you bring him here there. I can't travel with Sam. I keep thinking how I can do it. Like, I can't imagine how arduous the travel is. And you can't even afford to take Sam to Kuwait. So get that out of your head. You can't. And then Sam would be quarantined. Do you know the trauma you would put that cat through? Can you just buy another llama pillow, please? And hug that. And then having and to let live, Sam live where he's at. Worry about a 15-pound cat. He's a big boy. Why is he chubby? Why is he so fat and chubby? Why is he Yo, mama, you talk like this when you're alone? Or when you're watching her? Are you like, yeah, he's yeah, a chubby boy. He's a chubby boy. Do you do that? <laughs> Is that... Yo, mama, come on, be honest with me. Come on now. 
Hey, she's so fucking chubby. Yo mama can't start problems in here. He's just looking for content. I told you guys, just kiss his ass, send him kissy faces, and then he goes somewhere else. He'll be over at Naked and Laughing. He's looking for something. Good night, gal. Well, I need Sam. Let's see. Did she fart? Shut up. Everybody, lean in. I need Sam. <laughs> it sounded like a quack, but it could have been a fart. I mean, she doesn't have leather seats. She has the nasty stained ugh, fabric seats. It's probably smell like so much between all the freaking uh, icy drinks she's dropped. Uh, the nut salsa, whatever chicken nuggets and fries are under those seats. She and the, st yeah. <laughs> I loved him so much. <sighs> yeah, and he loved you too and you gave him up. So don't just get him to make you feel good for a moment, impulsive, like you said, and then leave him again. Stop. <sighs> you think it was her shoes on the floor, Matt's? Possibly. He'll see all the hot Canadian girls. What? Yeah, he'll be gone. He'll be in the nightclubs partying at 30 years old. Pete said the car stinks. I bet it does. Whatever. That doesn't, like, it would hurt at first, but it's, like, for me, whatever. If a guy, like, honestly, from now on, I vow to myself, never let myself get, like, torn up over if somebody does that like you know if that ever happens again or anything like that sideways happens that'll just be it that's all yeah right how many times did Nader pull shit on you he even gave you an infection and you still went back for more yeah forget it right you're a stage five clinger get away from these guys and get your shit together I promise you'll be happy. It just wasn't meant to be. Can you say hi to my girlfriend, Chris? She loves you. Kristen Marie, hi, Chris. Okay, enough with the squealing. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. Lots of love. <laughs> yeah, we could sing it out. Desperado. Why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long now. Like giving it another honest effort. You're welcome. Effort, and that's, you know, as far as it goes. So, so something did occur with Salah. Maybe he said he's sick of this bullshit. Get your head to get your head together. I don't know. Don't worry about those hypothetical things, you know? Oh, hypothetically, if you catch him, which he's not in your chat, by the way, um, if you catch him again, you're done. Now, you'll run right back to Kuwait if, if you could. People have eyes we can look. Yeah. I don't honestly, I don't do that. I don't care, like, anymore. I just want to live my, I just want to live like an old lady. You have been. You're not jet setter. <laughs> well, I will always be Canada, not necessarily. I don't want to live here forever. I don't. We both want to travel, but like that's the problem. We made this like whole plan, whole pact. And you went and gained a hundred pounds instead of losing weight, so you could travel. You almost sabotaged it on purpose. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. How many times per day does she call him? Oh, incessantly. Trust me. To travel and starting with Thailand, but if you're, you know, you're right. If you're healthy, you're not healthy, you can't do anything hard. Then get healthy. So, I mean, for somebody with my health issues, I think I push myself a lot. Put the fork down is your plan. That's it. Eat salads. 
eat clean. Get out of your car and start walking. Seven years of this. Okay. Like, I don't know, Citizen Cardigan. We're guessing she did. I'm guessing that's where her car was, was in Dee Dee's driveway. My size with my health issues, bad sciatica, bad asthma, and... All weight related. Go, go on. Try one of those travel days. I'm telling you. Oh. I wouldn't even dream of it. I wouldn't even dream of it. It's like you're asking for a final destination moment. No, thank you. Even if you slipped and fell in the airport, it's going to be a whole thing. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like, th th listen, you're a victim of your own circumstances. Stop. Oh, my God. You went through three drive throughs as soon as you hit Canada. He can't travel with you. You just lay around and whine and complain and you want a bed rot. That's your words out of your own mouth. That's a choice, ma'am. So stay in Canada and bed rot. And quit holding on to somebody that should be out there living his life at 30. Gosh. Yeah, a whole year of your life, you could lose 200 pounds. Tick tock, let's get going. They will break you like anxiety wise. And just physically, it's so hard on the body. So, so lose the weight. But I would enjoy it more. Like I wouldn't have to worry. Like, Imagine going to your airplane gate, not having to worry about like... I don't have to worry, and that's a choice. You know, if how who you're going to sit beside, how fat you are, you could just fit in the seat, you know? I do. I even cross my legs. <laughs> but that's a choice. Nothing to worry. That's like a huge worry right off of you. I don't know. I try not to worry about that stuff, but... Because, like, who cares? You're never going to see that person again. You just, you know... So you're more worried about people looking at you than getting healthy and losing weight. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll never see them again. Wow. You also might not see 41. Tick tock. <laughs> you did good for not feeling the best. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. She does realize it. She just doesn't have the willpower. Yeah, she gave up. Yeah, I'm married. No, you're not. Oh, no, she definitely don't give thought to anyone else's comfort next to her, just her own. Mm. So they might be giving you the stink eye because it's a fully booked plane and you didn't buy two seats. You can pay to live in Kuwait and Canada, but you can't buy two seats. So you don't inconvenience somebody next to you and they're spilling their wine on you because they have no room to move. That's how I'm guessing. Little turbulence. <laughs> Stuffy. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine that. Like we pregnant women deal with that where you need to kind of get a mirror to ladyscape, right? Cause you're nine months pregnant and you can barely see your knees. But I couldn't even imagine living my life where I can't even see the areas that you need to make sure you keep clean. And I don't even know. That's just weird to me. You could be a whole other person by 43. Yeah, true. Yeah, you could be a whole new person by age 42. Come to the Mars. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Well, surely is that. Hey, Beverly. Yeah, if she did that to me, I'm going to tell you right now. I'd be laying my head on her big pillow shoulder and snoring in her ear. I'm like, if we're going to do this, then we're going to mesh as one. If, if half your body's going to be over here, then I am going to kick myself over to my left hip, right? To make room for the other part of you on my seat. But let me promise you this, sister. My head's going to be laying on this cozy pillow, Right? Laying there, snoring in your ear. Bet me. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Experienced depression for the first time in my life. Eight months of hell. But I made it to the other side. Finished a PhD in the process. Get a backbone, Chantal. Thank you, Delulu. Thank you for that. She needs encouragement. 
and she needs a tough love kind of mom. That's me. I'm not Smi. I'm just like, stop your fucking whining and get, get to work. That's what I say. Listen, I'm going to tell you, there, there are children in my life that will never call and bellyache to my ass. I'm like, listen, I'm almost 60, and I have been through hell and back many times. This is how fun life is. So pick a career where you don't have to go through hell and back, right? And make sure you take care of your body because that's what gets you through the hardest parts of life. She thinks that YouTube is her career. And when people aren't giving her money and or she, you know, insulted so many people, they left, that it's just in, she's entitled to have this as a career. Listen, I'm telling you right now, if she went into a serious health arc and stayed in Canada, her channel will grow. And she knows it. Yeah. But she's got, still got people watching. But, you know, it's up to her. Lasagna? What? Pizza? Oh, she said she'd rather, you know, life's kicking her in the ass, right? Um, she would rather um, bed rot. Well, then go bed rot. Chinese, me too. <laughs> yeah, true, Melanie. What fart? I didn't even know. <sighs> yeah, Stella told me about it. He sent me a screenshot of the chat being like, well, she went out with a bang. I was laughing. I didn't know. Like, I thought it was ended. <laughs> I was holding it in the whole time. Then quit eating and drinking stuff that makes you sick. Your body's talking to you. You're walking around a big gas bag because of your diet. I'm only human. After all, don't put the blame on me. Remember that song? <laughs> no, never heard of it. And I'm pretty sure if I did, I would have turned it off. Thanks, Mars. You too. That's right, Sherry C. Exactly. Learned a lot of lot on our journeys, right? And it's never over. Yeah, that tooth, something's up with it. It 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 moved. <laughs> Sam was spoiled with me. Be quiet. Sam was not spoiled. You gave him treats because that's what you think animals need because that's what you need. Uh, yeah, that's not spoiling a cat. Spoiling a cat is making sure they're vaccinated, they're brushed, right? They're not in pain. So stop. I mean, of course, in her mind, because she gave him treats and talked to him in baby talk that he was spoiled. No, a spoiled dog feels no pain. Because they're cared for. He's, he was taken better care of. Like, I, oh, yes, he was. He used to strum in happiness. Is that why he had to be shaved when the new person got him? Sure. He was a musical guy. Wamatene, you can schedule a cruise from Canada E. They love passive medical stuff in a pool. Hold on, what'd they say? You can schedule a cruise from Canada to Dubai for your return. They allow pets and they have a medical staff in a pool. <laughs> Chantal on a cruise with a cat. Please film that shit. Yes. Oh boy. I'm living for it. Thanks for the info. I hope she brings the bathing suit she wore in Cuba too. I don't know about that. Thank you. Yes, yeah, stick her on a boat. Thanks for the super chat. I mean, that's the way I'd go. Uh, you wouldn't catch me sitting in a position like she's in, unable to move, unable to move her legs and feet for 14 hours. I'd rather be on a cruise ship for days. And I hate cruise ships. I won't even listen. But if I was, I would never do what she's doing. Let's be honest. Uh, Morrissey, not really much anymore, Richard. She would stay in her room, just like she did in Cuba. People had to beg her to get out of the room. <sighs> Jane's all, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, welcome to girl world. 
It's not for the weak. I'll tell you that much. He's not abandoned. Yes, he was abandoned. Yes, he was. Gypsy Rose was a new man. Stop it. This <laughs> Sam Strumming, yeah. And he always got chicken stew. High quality. See, it's always about food. She thinks that's how you take care of things. You just feed them. She feeds them hamster people food. He loved his crunchies. Oh my God, he's a fucking hamster. Stop. Shelly, if she takes the boat down, she takes all of us on the boat with her. Absolutely. And it's more probably because it's longer. Exactly. Quality. Okay. It's not about food, foodie. I mean, listen, I'm saying her name's foodie. Yes, it is all about food to foodie. Oh, my God. He's not eating any high items or whiskers. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... The you were giving him those nasty Dollar Tree treats. We've seen them. They're so bad for kidneys. You're just shaking them out for them to eat it. We've seen it. Don't even try to rewrite that shit. Everybody yelled at you for that. The and then what happened when BBJ was having kidney problems? You ignored it. Stew with the primo and the creme de la creme. It's always about food. She thinks that's love. <laughs> so maybe... Uh, I got here, got there. Yeah, you're right. Like, the summer's too hot. I would just won't like it in my life, so. But I don't like You don't go outside in the winter in Kuwait either. My life without my family there, like. <laughs> well, why would you choose another country when you've got a mom and a sister and, um, I mean, why? Why would you choose another country? You th do you really believe that Salah is worth giving up your family? That doesn't even make sense. I don't... I, A man could never... I don't like going that long, like... You know. Well, I can imagine at one time in my life it could have been a possibility. But... You learn things in life. You learn the importance... I get it, but you're 40. <laughs> you baby. You're from Louise. Hi, summer times. He looks at shooting scallops. Oh, yeah. No, chicken and tuna. Oh, my God. I'm losing the will to live. My old girl boss <laughs> started to smell like cheap metal. Traveling is too costly. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, it's it's expensive the plane ticket. <laughs> Depends what airline you go with. I usually go with Qatar, but the Air Canada seats are a lot bigger. Well, then that guy wouldn't have been spilling his wine on you. Yeah, Monica, I think so. I can always go back and visit, yeah. With the handsome man. And then... Cheesesteak. Well, that breathing's increasing. Girl, you're starting to green out. You better end the live. Yes, I put a down payment. She put a down payment on her apartment. In a parking lot, Mia, yeah. Rat face. Okay, I gotta go. Like, I gotta go for the night. Yeah, boop, boop. Yeah, the food, yeah, too cool. No, I, I agree, but the seating on the Airbus A330. Yeah, I have airline rewards. How are you out of breath just sitting here talking? Then why did she just say she wants to rent a room? No, she said she doesn't want to rent a room. Somebody brought that up. 
There's no way she would live in somebody else's house. She's too problematic. So what yeah, it's a it's not a down payment. It's a deposit. She's you know, this is her first rodeo. Well, we were thinking of like going to Malaysia for a while. A lot of Muslims are going there. Please leave the Muslims alone. <gasps> shock towel. I'm living in a shock. No, Alhamdulillah, that it's going to be a really, it's a decent place that I want to move into, so. It's a decent place, but it's not like the luxury villa. I can't wait. Oh no, GH, yuck. Sorry to hear that. Hmm. Girl boss. My night Jesus. Can you fart again when you leave? Sorry about that, guys. I really, like, I was holding it in, so. <laughs> oh, she's still talking about a fart? You used to lift your cheek and blow ass, and you didn't even care. Stop. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. It's time for her to poo. You know when she gotta go. She'd been sitting in that car eating before she went live, and you know it. You know it. Look at me. Look like I've been wrestling a gator. Oh my. Boom! 166 minutes? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Wow, guys. That's a wrap. <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out with me thank you for the super chats thank you for the thumbs up on the way out and thank you for doing half thumbs up thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for subscribing thank you for checking out the new t-shirt in the etsy store i hope you liked it and i got a, I got a new one coming out tomorrow thank you so much and there's only five face creams left we are sold out of the hair conditioner right now. And I think there's plenty of rose clay bars, the facial bars still. So if you're in the store, thank you so much. Thank you for the orders I received and get, already got them all out. And um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Good night. Love y'all.